These days, you'd be hard-pressed to find a person on the planet that didn't love suppressors. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if we found leaked emails of suppressor confirmation orders on Hillary Clinton's secret server. For the record, I'm gonna be using the terms suppressor and silencer interchangeably in this video because you can suppress a gun with a silencer. Then again, I am the same guy who thinks that the L and the R on his Nike Dry Fit socks are just a suggestion. The first time I saw the Maxim 9, I thought, yeah, that's exactly what I thought the first integrally suppressed handgun would look like. Visually, it was doing something, but I just couldn't wrap my head around exactly what that was. However, all types of cliche analogies come to mind. Analogies like, dang bro, that looks like a RoboCop gun. Man, that thing looks like a boat paddle. Dude, it's like a tactical tennis racket. Um, 2025 called, and they're wondering how you have their gun already. I could keep going. And to be honest, each and every one of those descriptions is correct. Because the Maxim 9 is a freaking weird looking gun. Even the grip texture makes the gun look like it's having an allergic reaction, or that it was designed by someone obsessed with binary code, but forgot to add the zeros. It's a gun that looks too unique for some people, but perfectly unique to others. Then again, there was a time where the Glock was considered unique looking. Now, it's one of the most boring looking guns on the market. The Maxim 9 is a little kid with a weird face and oversized head that all the other kids keep picking on until they piss that kid off and realize that weird little kid has superpowers. As far as I'm concerned, the industry is awash with redundancy masquerading as revolutionary. So I invite any and all attempts at legitimate innovation. The gun sits low in your hand and is very HKVP9-ish in the way the back of the grip courts your hand to grip the gun as high as possible. The Maxim 9 shoots like a Glock 34 with a surefire light attached, except with less recoil and a lot smoother. I don't know what it is, but the Maxim 9 is a really smooth shooter, which in turn makes the gun a joy to shoot. However, I gotta say the weakest part of this gun has got to be the trigger. The trigger just kept getting in the way of the unity of the gun. If the trigger was good, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but it's just not a good trigger. It's long, gritty, and heavy. However, I'm not gonna harp on the trigger too much as this particular Maxim 9 isn't a final product, but more or less a refined prototype. Things like the sight radius, which is nine miles long, made aiming incredibly easy. You would think that with all the ruckus going on in the front of the gun, that the Maxim 9 would point less naturally than most of its more traditional counterparts. But I'd argue it pointed better. Unlike most guns where the top portion of the gun moves back and forth, only about half of the Maxim's top portion actually moves back and forth while firing, which I think adds to the gun's low recoiling nature. And of course, the added weight of the integral suppressor plays a big part in that as well. Either way, it made shooting the gun fun and enjoyable, and I dare say, relaxing. Before I fired a single round through this gun, it was filthy. I ran just under 700 rounds and it ate everything from subsonic to supersonic. With subsonic rounds, the gun was quiet enough. With supersonic, it got noticeably louder, but still took the edge off of the traditional Street Fighter sonic boom explosion you usually have to deal with. In conclusion, the Maxim 9 is a freaking cool gun. This is a great nightstand gun, a great duty gun. However, anyone talking about it as a concealed carry gun is out of their mind. It's a functional gun that looks like a novelty, priced like a Glock fitted with an Osprey. Look, I get it. It's easy to poke fun at the gun, but when you do, all that tells me is that you haven't shot it nor felt it in hand, because I promise you, anybody making fun of the way it looks, it may be justifiably so, I promise you that when you actually do shoot this gun, you're gonna walk away thinking, damn, that was actually pretty freaking cool.